Alrighto, welcome to the episode 2 of Game of Thrones Season 8 Review. Spoilers going to be ahead, so switch off now if you haven't seen episode 2 or 1. Alright, let's do this. So, they start off the episode with Jamie Lannister coming back into Winterfell. He basically says that he's, a, he's sorry, he wants to fight for them. Bran sticks up for her. Bran sticks up for him. And, um, yeah. Then the next bit of the episode is... Uh, Jamie Lannister going towards Bran, telling him he was sorry, and or he was he's telling Bran that he was sorry because he threw him off the building, which is pretty shit. But you know, Bran forgives him. As we can see Pod getting some training. He's a mad cunt now. He's all fully fucking trained by Bran. Um, Bran defended him. Bran defended Jamie Lannister in the Winterfell Hall. So now. They're just talking up randomly and yeah, casually. It will lead up to a like it will lead up to a relationship with them, I would say. And then um Sansa and Sansa and Daenerys have a talk. Daenerys promises that uh, she loves her brother and Sansa Sansa was about to agree with everything Daenerys said, but she said that she wants the North to become independent because she, because Sansa said that the, her ancestors, the Starks, they fought for the North and yeah, and then Daenerys says, but oh, I am the Queen, which makes things complicated. So apparently she wants to own everything. And then um, Sansa and Theon have a reunion because Theon wants to come fight for the Starks because he really is a fuck. A fuck, yeah, he's a fuck. <laughs> um, John. John meets up with Tormund, Beric, and yeah, Ed, the last Night Watch member. And then um, and then in the next scene, they're discussing the tactics to plan the next battle in the Long Night against the Night King. So basically, they're going to use Bran as bait for Episode Three in their fight, and they can use him, and they're going to um, put him in the in the woods. The old god tree, even his bait, and yeah, Fionn's gonna defend him. Fionn and some um, Ironborn will defend. Fionn and the Ironborn will defend Bran because the Night King wants Bran, and the, the Dothraki will go first, and then behind the Dothraki will be the Unsullied and ah uh, some other soldiers. See ghosts. Finally, see ghosts. It's been a long while since we've seen ghosts. Basically, doing nothing. The them, Sam, Ed, John, just discussing the end of the world and how Sam's getting laid and stuff. And yeah, and there's all all of our heroes here just sitting by the fire. It's gonna be the last moments all together. Bran gets knighted. Tormund's pretty happy. Tormund's the he's the best character in this in this whole series, I reckon. <laughs> I think. <coughs> And the hand and Sansa have a little talk. Have a little talk about that, and then um, yeah, and this is an awkward scene when I uh, and Gendry get out, get it. This is the awkward scene when I and Gendry go at it. Um, Sam gives Jorah his sword. I think it's Heartbane. His his house sword, Sam's house sword, house Tully sword. It's Millerian steel. And yeah. And then uh, it looks like Theon and Sansa have made peace. She fully forgives Theon. And then um, after that, Jon tells Daenerys that he's a Targaryen and that she's basically his aunt. And then it cuts to the next scene where the White Walkers come. Everyone's getting ready for the fight. And there's a little shit ton of fucking White Walkers in a row just controlling the army of the dead. So yeah, that's basically the whole episode there, so quick review, cheers.